Hello everyone, today's video is how to align with your soul's purpose. If you are new to my world, my name is Jessica and I welcome you to my channel. I'm an Ascension teacher and a past life regression practitioner and I help people unlock themselves and reach higher levels of consciousness and help them to help them and guide them and lead them on a spiritual transformational journey. So this video is going to really help you align with your mission, with your soul's desires, with your soul purpose, and really integrating into the highest version of yourself. I want to really touch on how you can get that clarity so that you have a clear vision and a clear view and a clear perspective on where you're going in this life and how you can do that. Um, what really happens and why we get really confused is because we allow our conscious mind to lead our life and we get wrapped up in the chaos of not only what's going on in the world, like globally, um, it's been really tough this last two years um, with many things being thrown at the humans with a lot of things that we're having to navigate through and it's bringing up a lot of things on the planet, the chaos, the you know, the corruption, the fear, it's rearing its ugly head and it's also rearing up things that are going on within us so that we can really so it can really help us shift and help us on our path of ascension and um, the journey that we're all on in humanity. And so with all of that said and with all of that going on, um, I do notice and I have been guided to do this video because recently my guides have said that's one of the problems when I asked, you know, what, like, why are people kind of going sideways on their mission or they're really falling into one end of the spectrum um, and then going from, you know, massive fear and confusion and just cloudiness and really what they're supposed to do. So they may be awakening and being aware of all of the chaos and the corruption, but kind of feeling like lost as to where they fit in in all of this and what their next steps are supposed to do. So um, if this sounds like you, then be sure to pay attention all the way to the end because I am gonna be giving you a lot of tips that will help. So hopefully by the end of this video, it clears your mind so that you have that you go from that cloudy vision to that strong clarity vision. So when we start leading with our conscious mind, we get wrapped up in what's going on with the world and in our life. So maybe we get wrapped up in not getting enough sleep or not eating right or not exercising enough or we have marital problems, we have problems with raising children, we have financial problems, we have job problems, you know, and this all are things that we have to deal with in as humanity, but the key is to rise above all of that chaos, to rise above all of those things that are going on in the everyday life. And sorry, I have my cat that's, that's crying that just walked in. Um, but getting wrapped up in all of those things, um, if we look for our vision and we look for our purpose through that lens, through that lens of being in those chaotic situations and feeling those chaotic lower vibrational energies and then we're trying to see our way through it with that perspective is when it really gets cloudy and we have a hard time seeing where we're supposed to go and why we're here and what our role is and why we incarnated at this time on earth because each and every one of you incarnated for a purpose and you carry a frequency and gifts that you are meant to share, that you are meant to do here. I mean, there's a purpose and an absolute reason that you incarnated here. And finding that and aligning with that right now at this time is really important because it's really going to help you navigate through these times, especially in 2022 and coming in 2023. So learning how to see things rising above the chaos from a higher perspective and therefore things can start to fall into place naturally, um, doors will start to open and we know no matter what's going on in the outside world, in the external world, that it's all playing out and we need to just trust the process but not get wrapped up into 
the day-to-day stresses, the day-to-day things that understand that that's part of the journey, part of the human experience. Um, but keeping your vision top of mind. So my suggestion is to take some time and journal, especially this month of March, because things are rapidly increasing. Um, We're accelerating at a very fast pace. So the things that you desire are going to be coming to you. So that fire, those fireballs of what you um, desire, you're going to want to meet them so that they can collide and come together much quicker. So um, write down first your desires. What it what gives you satisfaction? What makes your heart sing? What makes you happy? What makes you feel fulfilled? And tap into those energies, tap into those frequencies and write that down and get crystal clear on exactly what you want to create in your life and with your life so that you can start to energetically align. So you want to read those every day. You want to maybe meditate on them. You maybe want to put them up in your office. You just want to be in tune to those energies and those frequencies of the desires that you want to have and like what it is that you want to create. So let's just say, for example, um, you want to open up your own business and you want to quit your your regular nine to five job and you want your business to be aligned with your soul and your purpose and um, you want to produce income with it so that you don't have to work the job that maybe you don't like. So taking that step, making sure that your frequency matches that desire and believing 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is possible and that you're worthy of receiving that. Um, Often blockages will come in um, from feeling unworthy or like you don't deserve that. And a lot of that goes from, you know, the past and things that keep coming up. So if you do find yourself kind of like wanting to create that, but your energy is a little hesitant on that, um, then that's kind of showing that maybe there are some things that are in the way of worthiness and deservingness. So focus on that and clearing all of that out of the way so that you can really, um, get aligned energetically with that, what you desire, because that is huge and that is key because even though we may be speaking it, we may be energetically completely giving out the wrong, or I don't say the wrong, but a totally different vibration. And we want to work in flow. We want it to be easy. We want it to be graceful. We want everything to just flow and our life to be much more peaceful instead of feeling like it's so much hustle, so much work, because that's all the third dimensional 3D reality of working, of um, making a living and and all of those things. And we're rising to a higher level of consciousness and we are manifesting a whole different world, a new earth, a 5D earth, a a new world where all of that thing, all of those things and the programs and the way that we made money don't, aren't going to be carried into this new earth. And so we're stuck kind of in, in between the two worlds, trying to navigate our way through it. And we often have that cloudy vision. So um, aligning energetically with that that you desire first takes you writing down what you desire so that you can work with the universe, work with your guides and get clear on that and command as the captain of your own ship of your life, command and decree and declare to the universe what you are creating with power, with love, but with very strong, um, with a very strong resonance, with a very strong declaration, because that will help put that energy call out to the universe, and the universe will start to conspire to help bring that forward if it's aligned with your energy. So, um, get clear on that. Command that that you are going to create. Give permission to your guides to come in and to assist, to help you if you feel resonated to different beings, um, call them in, um, ascended masters, you know, call them in and ask for the highest teachers of the light that can help you create this vision, help you align with your purpose, with your soul's desires. And don't forget that we have a team that is here to help you and assist you 
that know your blueprint, know what you're capable of, know who you really are, and um, that is really going to help you shine through all of this chaos and through the darkness and through all of that with clear, with clear vision, with clear intentions on that. Um, the biggest block is what I said in the beginning is your conscious mind. So leading your life with that conscious mind. So what we need to learn is to put that conscious mind behind um, what I teach people when I do the hypnosis sessions to do that um, so that they can allow their higher self to come through and share the messages is to visualize um, your conscious mind just kind of being put to the left side of your mind, move it back and further and further and further away. Sometimes you need to place it in some type of cube or somewhere that is just going to be off to the side and then allow your subconscious mind or your higher self, however you want to view it, come forward and allow that version of you, the higher version of you to lead the way without your conscious mind standing in front of your higher self. So you can take the full reins of your life and lead with the power that you have within you and with all of the abilities that you have when you dropped in here into human form and igniting all of the amazing gifts that you possess. And if you have your conscious mind, your ego mind in front of you in the way, that higher self can't come through and can't lead. So it'll be a very resistant and very difficult and very challenging time, which creates that cloudiness. Um, and you may feel like you don't know why you're here, or that you don't belong, uh, maybe feeling depressed, anxious, all of that. That's kind of the result that occurs when um, we're trying to kind of go through this battle, I guess, with our with our ego mind and with our higher self. Um, and just remember to, to allow or realize that that ego mind has played a very significant and important role. And your ego mind is always going to be there and it's here to protect you and support you. And just realize that with compassion so that it can gently just step aside but this is allows full integration with our higher self because we have as light workers we have a big mission here to do and there's a lot going on in the world and our lights need to be shining as bright as possible and we are here it is our birthright to create this amazing life full of abundance in every single area of our life it is not meant for us to be in struggle and um, we just need to see things from that higher perspective and know whatever's going on in the world, um, the fears, the manipulations, the mind control and the wars that are going on, the pain and the suffering, it can be really challenging. So remember that it's all happening for a reason and there's a lot of souls that volunteered to take roles in all of this in any way shape or form of how this is happening how this earth is ascending so just have compassion and the love for all of humanity at this time and whatever roles that they're playing just see through the lens of your higher self see through the lens with compassion and empathy and love and stay focused on shining your own light stay focused on what you want to create with your life because the more and more people that do that it gets provides a light a lighthouse for those that may not be there yet and you are so powerful in what in your light that people will see it and people are going to start to navigate towards the light and the more and more people that we can have walking towards the light um, the better and brighter our our future is going to be and the quicker that this can shift um, and we're going through all that you know the process right now but know that it is all happening for a reason there's divine timing in all of it it is all to help humanity evolve it is all to help humanity as a whole as a race as a collective ascend to higher states of consciousness to higher states of of being and how does that work? How does that start? It starts with each and every one of you individually doing that. And so that we can support and assist the rest of humanity. The first thing that I said, which is 
rising above everything, getting clear on what your soul desires are, writing them down, aligning with them energetically, and calling in the guides for assistance, um, decreeing, declaring, commanding to the universe what these desires are, and keeping your focus on that vision. And take a look at what things are popping up that you might be telling yourself, the old versions of yourself, or unhealed aspects possibly, or just your old self kind of creeping in, your ego mind creeping in. Um, just remember who you really are, that how powerful you are, and those things that might pop up, that I'm not worthy of this, like who do you think you are, you don't deserve a job, you don't know how to teach people, you know, all these things um, that pop in, just keep putting that ego mind to the left side of your mind and move it further and further and further and further away. The further you move them away, the further you move your ego mind away, the quieter and the quieter and the quieter it get, and the louder and louder and louder that your higher self will become. So focus on that and pay attention to what emotions and feelings and all of those things that come up because those are opportunities for us, especially this month, to finally clear them, to finally shift them, to get rid of all of that. Um, Archangel Uriel has been working with me um, really closely recently and especially this month he's popped in. Um, his light is red, so if you're finding yourself drawn to red, possibly Archangel Uriel is around you and wanting to assist, but he and his legion of dragons are helping the earth right now. They're protecting the earth as a whole, and Archangel Uriel will help you clear your mind and your confusion. That is his expertise, and I have a video on Archangel Uriel. I'm going to pop it up above and I'm also going to put a link to it in the description below. Be sure to watch that um, because he is really showing up and he's here to help. Um, he just needs you to call on him and utilize the gifts that he possesses or that he can bring forward that he has um, to help you clear that mind, clear whatever could be standing in the way, clearing the cloudiness so that it becomes crystal clear of where you're going. And don't focus also so much on thinking that it has to be something um, huge that you need to create here or whatever, you know, and, and follow that if that feels like it resonates. But a lot of people are here just to shine your light because that is what the earth needs the most. So... Um, we can get wrapped up as human beings on what is our purpose? I don't know my purpose. I need my purpose. And why am I here? And focus on shining your light. Focus on clearing the energy around you so that you can integrate with your higher self and your light and your soul can shine through. Because once you energetically do that and you're clearing that path, everything will start to fall into place. So trust the process and trust that opportunities will show up, doors will open up, people will start to pop in, and you will know because you're aligned with the higher version of yourself, and you will feel and you will know what the next step. It will come naturally, it will feel organic, and it will feel like everything will flow. So take your attention off what you might think you your purpose is and focus on the energy and alignment of the higher self things are going to start opening up opportunities are going to be presenting themselves and my guys wanted me to share this information um, with all of you because um that is the struggle that a lot of the star seeds and the light workers and humanity is having they're just not quite sure what to do next they're just not quite Sure, it's cloudy, it's confusion, it's confusing and challenging. And then you throw on top of that the chaos in the world, um, it becomes very hard to sometimes even get out of bed or just really figure out, oh my gosh, like do I even want to be here? Um, all of these things, it's normal to be feeling all of that. It's heavy, it's thick right now, um, but just focus on rising above all of that and trust that 
when you are fully aligned energetically, we have an amazing team of light beings all over the planet that are here to help. And you have a team that you contracted with to help you as well. Um, but sometimes it just takes reminding us, um, putting up those soul desires so that we know, hey, you know, I'm working towards this. Um, it always helps helps me have a bigger picture and know that what I want and the life that I want to create, even though it's not manifested yet into this physical world, um, but keeping that vision always on the forefront of my mind and thinking of that bigger picture helps me navigate through this life and the challenges and the difficulties that come up and it helps me stay focused on shining my light as bright as I can because I know that that is what and how I can help people the most at this time. And then when the time is right, other things will start to fall into place. And I know that to be true for each and every one of you who are watching this as well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I encourage you to please um, share it out, to like, comment. Um, if there's any questions that you have, feel free to comment. Um, I will do my best to answer any questions that you have. If you have not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel, tap the bell so that you can get notified of future videos and be sure to check out that Archangel Uriel video at this time. All right, I will see you guys all next time. Thank you.